Hello, this is Risk It For A Biscuit, the only quiz show where you can be beaten by a baked confectionery item. Hello and welcome to Risk It For A Biscuit, the show where our contestants batter out over biscuits. I'm your host, Josh Fillingham, and joining me today are Charlotte Dale and Beth Mormon. Charlotte, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, I'm Charlotte. I'm from Yorkshire and I study theatre at Salford Uni. Awesome. And how about you, Beth? Um, I'm from Blackburn and I'm studying fashion design at Salford Uni as well. Bro, it's great to have you guys here. So uh, now let's quickly go over our rules. Our two contestants will battle it out in a series of risky biscuit rounds to see who will be crowned king of the tin. The winner will then go on to play our final round where they will risk everything for a biscuit of their choice or to win our coveted prize, a lifetime supply of their chosen biscuits. Our first round today is That's How the Cookie Crumbles in which our contestants each have one minute to answer as many questions as possible. For every question they get right, they'll get a point. Will they crumble under the pressure? Let's find out. First up is Charlotte. So Charlotte, we'll put 60 seconds on the clock. Your time will start when you hear the cookie crumble. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one. How many seasons did the American sitcom series Friends have? Eight. It was actually 10. Which actor played James Bond in Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, Skyfall and Spectre? Pass. It was Daniel Craig. Bono is the lead singer of which Irish rock band? Pass. You too. As of 2019, who has more followers on Instagram, Barack Obama or Kylie Jenner? Kylie Jenner. Correct. Budapest is the capital city of which European country? Pass. Hungary. Uh, Beyonce was a member of which group before going solo? Destiny's Child. Correct. Uh, what position did footballer uh, Peter Schmeichel play for? Uh, for, uh, for Manchester United. Keeper? Yes, he was goalkeeper. Uh, in 2015, Rita Ora was judge on which two British talent shows? The Voice and um, Britain's Got Talent. Uh, it's unfortunately, The X Factor as well as mm. The Voice. Uh, on a standard UK Monopoly board, what is the most expensive location? Pass. It is Mayfair. Uh, which of these planets has the biggest diameter, Jupiter or Neptune? Jupiter. Correct. So, uh, Charlotte? You answered four questions correctly, giving you four points. How are you feeling after that? Pretty good. All right, so that's, mm. that's good, that's good. It was a good, good start. So uh, next up, we have Beth. Once again, we'll put 60 seconds on the clock and uh, your time will start when you hear the cookie crumble. Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one. Who won the 2018 FIFA World Cup? Pass. It was France. Uh, which Canadian rapper sang God's Plan and One Dance? Drake. Correct. Which country won the Eurovision Song Contest in 2019? Uh, pass. It was the Netherlands. Uh, which ill-fated ship set sail on April 1912? Uh, pass. It was Titanic. Uh, H2O is the chemical formula for what? Water. Correct. Uh, Mary Piper and King Edward are, w are varieties of what? Pass. Potato. Uh, what colour are the four stars on the flag of New Zealand? White. Uh, it's unfortunately red. Uh, in the popular video game series, what type of animal is Sonic? Um, a turtle. No, he's a hedgehog. Oh. Um, which Olympic sport takes place in a velodrome? Pass. It's cycling. Uh, what is the national flower of Wales? Um, dandelion. It's a daffodil. Uh, what item used in the rain provided the title for uh, a hit single by Rihanna? An umbrella. Correct. So Beth, you answered three questions correctly, giving you three points. How do you think that went? Quite well. Nice, yeah, that's good, that's good. So uh, we end round one with Charlotte on four points and Beth on three points. Uh, Charlotte's in the lead, but sh can she keep that through into round two? Let's find out. <laughs> Round two is called That Really Takes the Biscuit. In this round, contestants will be shown a news headline and asked to decide whether it's real or if it just takes the biscuit. Spot the genuines from the fakes and they'll get a point. 
Charlotte went first last round, so Beth, it's now your turn. I'm going to give you some headlines, and all I'm asking you to do is decide whether or not they take the biscuit. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, so there's no time on this one, so take as much time as you need. Um, so our first headline is, Computer hacker accidentally puts thousands of pounds into accounts he tries to steal from. Is this real or is it fake? Real? It's unfortunately fake, mm. but uh, that would be that would be so awesome, though, wouldn't it? I mean, you'd have no more student loans. It'd be great. <laughs> um, our second headline for you, Beth, is orangutan to preview potential mates with Tinder for apes at Dutch Zoo. Is this real or fake? Fake. It's actually real. Uh, there was an article from February 2017 where behavioural biologists at a zoo in the Netherlands uh, allowed one of the orangutans to select her partner on a tablet to gain greater insight into what orangutans look for in a mate. So it's uh, actually real. And, and your final headline, Beth. Uh, Spain proposes a ban on memes and its government is immediately mocked with memes. Is this real or fake? Real? It is in fact real. This is a headline taken from the Daily Mail in November 2016. Uh, the Spanish government actually proposed a law that would curb spreading images that infringe the honour of a person. Uh, however, the idea was swiftly marked across the internet with, it very, uh, with the very images they were trying to ban. So Beth, that ends that uh, with one question correct, giving you a total of one point for that round. Next up is Charlotte. Same as before, I'll read the headlines and all you have to do is decide whether they are fake or not. So, your first headline. Peruvian penguin gets lost in family home. Real or fake? Real. Correct, it is real. This is a genuine headline from September 2016 when a family thought they heard an intruder in their home but instead, they discovered a penguin. Uh, the local police came in and the penguin was taken into custody without incident uh, before being taken to a zoo and checked over by vets. Your second headline. New unbeatable lie detector technology to analyze facial expressions of criminal suspects. Is this real or is this fake? Fake. It is in fact fake. Though the way technology is progressing, who knows, maybe this could be real in the future. So, and your final headline. Cheeky Parrot keeps using Amazon's Alexa to order snacks. Is this real or fake? Real. It is in fact real. This headline came from the Huffington Post December last year. The parrot was called Rocco and he had previously been kicked out of an animal sanctuary in Berkshire for his bad language. So uh, yeah, that ends that round with three questions correct, giving you, Charlotte, three points for this round. <laughs> Now it's time to reveal the overall points tally. Beth, you have a total of four points, but Charlotte, you have a total of seven points, which makes you today's winner. Wow. Congratulations, you'll be competing for that all important prize. Commiserations, Beth, you were one tough cookie, but uh, you were beaten in the end, unfortunate. However, you don't go away empty handed. You will leave today with the treasured memories of your time here on Risk It For A Biscuit, and also a lovely packet of biscuits. Thank you. <laughs> you've, uh, Charlotte, you've made it this far. How do you feel? I'm shocked. You're shocked. Mm -hmm. it's, it's absolutely amazing. So uh, it's now time for our final round, Risk It For A Biscuit. Let's take a look at just how we play. Our contestants will dunk a biscuit of their choice into a cup of delicious Yorkshire breakfast tea. They will then have to answer a series of biscuity questions. Answer three questions correctly before the biscuit crumbles into the tea and they win. However, if the biscuit breaks, 